Keeping it down just in case it gets really loud. Okay. So anyway, we can turn. All right, here. Oh, that's so cool! It's loud, but it's cool. I'll make sure the dog's okay. Okay, so there you go. Now you got something to play with tomorrow when everybody goes to work. That's so awesome. And then to just, just basically, it's the two knobs, right? Yeah. You can play with that, which will set the frequency. So and this over will, here, which will set the volume. This is fine tuned. This is a multiplication type of thing. Yeah. And then you'll get your neighbors. And then if we turn that the second knob, we're gonna get a different okay. pattern. Uh, you won't get different patterns. It'll just uh, respond faster. Okay, let's keep it the same, and then let's and then see if it'll go back. See if it fixes that little part. You notice that when you hit when you hit the frequency that that metal plate out vibrates, mm -hmm. yeah, the volume goes up. Yeah, it spikes. That's the same way you tune ferrite tuning cores in, in the old uh, radios. Ah. You tune the core to where you got it to the frequency that you wanted. But you couldn't use metal tuning wands; you had to use plastic. Ah. And the way what the way you knew it was tuned properly is when it was turned into tuned to the frequency you wanted it, and it said that you were tuned into the frequency it was tuned into. That's right. Actually, put a voltmeter out, and the voltage will tell you when you're in a harmonic or not, because <laughs> <laughs> the voltage goes up. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Interesting patterns. You could hear it when it's going to hit. Yeah. 